Hey, my name is Zeter. Welcome to Hound Hogs Barbecue. Today, we're going to be doing some smoked mac and cheese. Alright, so there's a million different ways you can do smoked mac and cheese. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever done it. So what I did is I went on Google and I googled about a hundred different ways you can do it and I picked out the things that I liked the best. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and cook your noodles. So as far as our ingredients go, we're going to start off with one pound of noodles. I got the regular elbow macaroni noodles. Then you also want to use a half a cup of butter, four tablespoons of flour, a tablespoon of mustard powder, then you also want to use two cups of half and half, which we have over here, four ounces of cream cheese, and some panko breadcrumbs. As far as the cheese goes, I like cheese. I picked a bunch of different types of cheeses and I just threw them all in there. I did decide to go with some pepper jack, some sharp cheddar cheese, and what's this? Some quesadilla Mexican style cheese. I like queso, so that's kind of the vibe I'm trying to give here. One thing I did decide that I wanted to do on the topping of this macaroni and cheese, I wanted to put some bacon in there with the breadcrumbs. So for the bacon, I decided to go with Smithfield Thick Cut Bacon. We're going to pre-cook this on the smoker, on the skillet, and then we'll chop it up, bring it off, and put it on the top when we're done. Alright you guys, so we got our bacon cooked and now we're getting ready to start making, I think it's called a roux. So we're going to start off with our butter right here. It's just regular unsalted butter. You want to throw your butter in there, just toss it in. You want to just start moving your butter around, let it start melting. Now once your butter melts and renders down, you're going to add your flour in there a little bit at a time. You don't want to throw it all in there at once. Put your flour in there and whisk it around until it starts to turn into a paste. And then you're also going to throw this in there. This is just ground mustard. So we've got our flour in there, now we're just going to throw in this ground mustard. Okay everybody, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add in our half and half which I've just got portioned out right here in a little tub. We're going to add that in and then we want it to come almost to a boil and then we're going to add in our cream cheese and start the look at that bubble. Look at that bubble. Look at that bubble. Or until it's smooth. So pretty. I feel like Picasso. just about ready to go. Now we're going to mix in all of our cheeses, let all our cheeses melt, and bring it to a nice cheese sauce. Some Velveeta cheese. How about one more block of that?
All right, y'all. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. We're going to add the mac to this cheese. Now, again, I had pre-cooked these noodles. So you're just going to put them in there, mix it all together, and finish it off. Kind of mix it in there as you go. Make sure the noodles get mixed in with that cheese sauce real good. This stuff is thick. Alright, y'all know I like it thick, but it might be a little too thick. We're going to add some of this half and half in there. Thin it up just a little bit. But not too much. We also want to throw a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of AP seasoning in there. We're going to use some white lightning from Boar's Not Out. thing we're going to do is just add the topping. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, you guessed it, a little bit more cheese. So we'll put in a layer of cheese on the top. Then I also took our bacon from earlier, mixed it with some breadcrumbs. Just going to sprinkle that on top as well. The very last thing we're going to do is we're going to throw on some Big D's Hurricane Rib Rub, a little bit of sweet rub. You don't have to be too conservative with this because you're just putting it on the top, but once you start scooping it in there, it'll get all down in that cheese. Now we're just going to let this sit for a little while. Alright, so we've got this thing off the smoker. All we did was just leave it on there, keep checking it every now and then. We were looking for it to start to brown up along the edges, looking for that cheese we put on the surface to kind of melt and then crust up just a little bit, and then it was ready to pull off. So we're gonna go ahead and dig into this thing. Let's see what we got here. Woo! Look at that stretch. Yes. Alright, I dropped a little bit in there, so we got we gotta get some of that too. Man, that looks good. Alright. I got I feel like we're on our anniversary date or something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Dude, you keep surprising me. I know. Yeah, I'm surprised. First time trying this, and you just kind of made something up. I mean, guys, he really just made this up. Yeah, I pulled it out of thin air. I will say, I can taste that hurricane rub that we put on top of it. That stuff is really good. I know that the SPG and the 38 Special that we put on the bacon, now all that is working into it, but I think that putting that hurricane rub right on top, give it that little bit of sweetness on top, that was... That was a good move. Well, it's all about balance of flavor. That SPG, if it wasn't in there, this would probably be pretty bland. Yeah. Because cheese on its own is, is not that full of salt. And so the SPG kind of gives it that savory flavor and then just that little bit of sweetness. It really balances it out. I mean, that's, that's good. That's and good. I'm really enjoying that crunch right on top. Yeah, you should you should write this down so we don't forget <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Mm. Man, that's good. Mm. Well, hit them with the outro. I ain't got a whole lot more to say. You guys check this out. We'll have all the ingredients up. Try it yourself. Let us know what you think. Like Blake said. Website. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can find all of this stuff at houndhogsbarbecuesupply.com. Use whatever promo code we have going on at the time if we have one. It'll be down below. Yeah, down below. 
Um, Turn those ideas into realities. That too. Uh, Finish it off. Go out and cook something new. That's right. See y'all later.